Hi guys, welcome to this video on half equations. It's f currently in the higher tier content, so if you're a foundation, and you don't need to worry yourself about these half equations. Um, but if you remember back into the last video where we looked at the electrolysis of molten lead bromide, we said that if you put the lead bromide in here as a, um, a molten, in the molten form, so that means when it's a liquid, then the lead ions, which are positive Pb2+, plus, would be attracted to the negative electrode, and the bromide ions, which are Br-, minus, would be attracted to the positive electrode. Um, now, with half equations, you need to be talking about what um, these ions here and whether they're gaining or losing electrons. We're not talking about writing a complete equation like we normally would write for what's going on, um, so our general equation for the whole thing would be looking at lead bromide as a liquid turning into lead, which is solid, and bromine, which is a gas. Now that's the format that we are used to seeing equations in, um, but half equations are going to be looking at one of these ions and talking about adding and giving electrons. So they will have the sign for electron, which is this, in the equation. And they're basically focusing on what's happening at each electrode. So we're talking about bromide ions here giving away electrons and becoming bromine, so we can write half equation for that. And we're talking about lead ions gaining electrons and turning into lead atoms, and we can write an equation for that. So let me give you an example then with, um, first of all, lead. So if we write Pb2+, plus, we're writing the half equation here for what's happening at the negative electrode. We've got Pb2+, plus, and first of all, we're just gonna write it simply that it gains electrons. So that's what we're seeing here, plus electrons. Gaining electrons makes lead. Pb. And all we then need to do is balance that equation. So because we have got a 2 plus here, we need two electrons to turn that into lead. So we just need to put a big 2 in front of the electrons there. And that would be the half equation for um, the reduction of the lead ions, or what's happening at this negative electrode. Then for the bromide ions, we would write that the bromide ions are losing electrons, so we could write it like take away electrons, and they are turning into bromine. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, because if you remember before, I said that bromine always goes around as two atoms, like oxygen. So we can't just write Br, because that doesn't exist on its own, we have to write it as Br2. So we're saying bromide ions lose electrons, take away electrons to turn into bromine. And then we just simply again balance that equation. So first of all, because we've got two lots of Br over here, we need two Br minuses. And now we've got two minuses, we need to take away two electrons to get um, bromine. You might see this written in a slightly different way um, because you could also write this as um, two Br minus, so two bromide ions turning into bromine with your two extra electrons on that side. So just watch out for that. Sometimes they might trick you out by writing it in a slightly different way and you need to be resilient to to be able to understand both of them. So just try and read out and turn these equations into words. So literally um, say to yourself, okay, so we've got two bromide ions turning into bromine and giving away two electrons. And that's the same thing as saying we've got two bromide ions that are losing two electrons and turning into bromine. So for another example, you might see um, something like 
chlorine for example chloride ions in the electrolyte to be Cl minus and they would lose electrons and turn into chlorine which again is one of those diatomic molecules that hangs around in pairs so we have the Cl2 always there and then we would just balance that so we'd need because of the Cl2 we'd need 2 Cl minus and then we'd need two electrons. So that's the basics of half equations. Um, I'm going to give you now some examples for you to try and balance yourselves. So here are four equations for you to try and balance yourselves. So four half equations that need balancing. If you pause the video, have a go at them and then come back and see if you got them right. Okay, so let's see how we got on. The first one, Al3+, plus, um, to turn that into aluminium, we will need three electrons. For the next one down below, Cu2+, plus, to turn that into copper, we will need two electrons, because we've got two plus here, so we need two minuses. Over here for hydrogen ion, now that again, goes into a diatomic molecule so H2 so the first thing you need is you need two hydrogen ions and because you've now got two hydrogen ions you'll have two plus here so you'll need two electrons and for the oxide ion here again that turns into O2 so we will need two of those and now we've got two lots of two minus so over here we've got 4 minus in total, because 2 lots of 2 minus makes 4 minus. So we are going to need 4 electrons. So when O2 minus turns into oxygen, it gives away 4 electrons. Very well done if you've got those correct. That's exactly the type of thing that you would be asked to do in your exam. If you found that video on half equations useful for you then please like the video and subscribe for further videos and if you want to find out more about electrolysis then check out my other videos